bedroom tour or a other kind of tour. I thought I'd do a wardrobe tour. In my new uni house I have a big wardrobe space that is basically here. Um, and I thought it'd be interesting to show you around and then answer some questions about it. This is actually the second time I filmed this intro because I filmed it yesterday and the lighting was terrible so apologies if throughout the rest of the video bits of the lighting are a bit off because I was trying to do the lighting and so the intro was just appalling. I, could, I had to refilm the intro but I've left the rest of the video because bits of it are okay so I hope you don't mind and forgive me I will try and sort the lighting out for future videos and etc etc. I'm not going to blab on for too long because there's a lot of things to get through in this video and um, so yeah I hope you enjoy it and here's the rest of the video. Okay so I'm just about to take you around my wardrobe. This is like my wardrobe unit and this is um, a door like a side door that closes. So we're going to start on this side this is like where I store my hanging things so I've got a lot of like lightweight jackets in there, shirts dresses, uh, trousers, skirts, etc, etc, dresses and then here this goes all the way back and I have like piles of jumpers that I wear and things and then here I have pyjamas and cosy clothes. Then we have below this we have four drawers so in this one we have like underwear which I'm not going to show you obviously and um, then in this one we have like loads of tops so like crop tops, t-shirts long sleeve tops. And then in the next one, this is not folded very well, um, I have like trousers, like jeans and things, and joggers and some shorts. And then the next drawer, bottom drawer, is fitness stuff, more shorts and then skirts as well. Then we're going to move on to the second half. Then in this side at the top I just have, um, at the top here I just have like a suitcase and bags that I can't store anywhere else. And then here's like more coats. Uh, so we've got all my coats. This is a thing that I put up myself, so it's not very secure, but hey hey. We've got like my onesie, and then this is a bag full of boots and heels. They're like the shoes that I don't wear every single day. We've got like some leopard ones. We've got some like black ones. We've got all sorts in there. And they're just in this like storage bag. Uh, at the bottom we have all my bags, like clutch bags and handbags and things. And then in this, this is my handbag that I'm using at the moment. And then in here we have scarves, hats, gloves, that kind of thing. So yeah, that is my wardrobe. And then oh, also down here I have more shoes. These are the ones that I wear every day and they're just like near my bed so that I can get to them very easily. Okay, so now you've been round my wardrobe, I'm going to move on to the question. So the first one is my most expensive item. And for this I have gone with my Barber jacket. Um, Barber is quite an expensive brand. I've had this for a while and just love it. It is furry inside so it's really cosy. And the colour of it is just so nice. The detailing of the quilting and everything is just amazing. And the buttons all say Barber on. And yeah, I just love it really. And it was quite pricey, so that is my most expensive item. Question number two is my least expensive item, and that would have to be something like this, which is just a vest top from uh, Matalanis, I believe it was £3, I think. And these are really useful just for like layering under tops. I also have this in black, and I think a grey one as well, so uh, they're just really useful and very comfy. Okay, so then my favourite item, which at the moment is these boots. I cannot get enough of these boots. They're just so glittery and amazing, and I just I just love them to bits. So this would have to go down as my favourite item at the moment. And then my least favourite item. I don't really have a least favourite item because obviously, like I chose them all myself, so I do like them. But I'm gonna go for this dress. Um, this dress is like an interview dress, so I don't really wear it over for anything other than that. So that's why it's my least favourite item, because I don't really wear it other than for official business type things. The newest item will probably be this um, Primark jacket, because um, I haven't actually been shopping in that long, but this I bought in Lancaster before I came back to uni, and um, this is just like a metallic-y bomber jacket. 
And then my oldest item uh, would probably be something like this denim jacket, which is ridiculous, this denim jacket. This is um, a size 8. So that means when I bought it, I was probably in like year 6 or something stupid like that. And I've just kept it and wear it still to this day. Um, I love it and it goes over everything really nicely and is a great thing to layer with. Couldn't live without, I could not live without this leather jacket which is like this from New Look and it has fur around the, the like neck and down sides. I love this especially in winter it's just so easy to throw on and you can just wear it with like jeans and a t-shirt and it will just make it look that much that bit more like put together so I really love this. A story. It's probably this Ralph Lauren jacket because um, I got this in the Ralph Lauren polo outlet shop and saw it and it was the last one in my size and just loved it and wanted it so it's not really an amazing story but it's probably the most exciting story out of my wardrobe and I just think it's really versatile and easy to wear. Most worn probably this this coat. Um, I've had this coat for an absolute age and it just it just seems to make its way back into the wardrobe every year and it's not going anywhere so I really like this. Um, my final question is my wish list. Uh, what's on my wish list? Oh, uh, this is a very like ambitious wish list, but a very trench is something that one day, one day I will own. Okay, so that is my wardrobe tour. If you liked it, make sure you press the thumbs up button, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will be back next week with another new video. Bye, guys.